Do you know how to replace an X13 ECM type motor with a standard PSC motor? Today I'm going to be using this product right here. I'm going to teach you how to replace an ECM or a bad X13 motor with a standard PSC motor. If you don't know anything about ECM motors but you want to learn more, check out the video in the link in the description. Also check out my playlist HVAC tips for technicians. Before we start today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. If you want tech support, you want help with your project, click the join button, become a member, go down in the comments, say I joined, I'll give you my email and that'll lead to contact with me. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians, I'm Tad, let's get started. This right here is the unit that I'm replacing the indoor motor on. And today I'm going to take this X13 ECM type motor out of this unit and I'm going to replace it to a standard PSC. And I'm going to tell you before we start the video and I start the replacement, start walking you through what I'm actually using to do that. I'm going to tell you the reason I'm doing this is because this motor is going to cost the customer a thousand dollars just for the motor. And that is ridiculous. So I am going to cut that price in half by using the product that I'm using. I'm going to save the customer $500 and I'm still going to give them heating and cooling, which is what they need. So when you find a customer that cannot afford that type of motor, you need to try to do your best to help the customer to save money. I know that the X13 or ECM motor may be more efficient, but right now they, they cannot afford the cost. So I'm having to improvise and I'm glad that I have this type of product. Let me show you what it is. Let's go over how we're going to do it and then let's start doing it. So this is the product. Looks like it's just a board and it's the Quick Swap X3. You're able to take that ECM motor, the X13 motor plugs and plug them on the board it looks like. And then you've got your PSC motor wires going into that board. Let's take a look. If you want to pause the video and read these instructions here, you can. I'm going to take the, the part out of the box, okay? So right out of the box, we've got our board. Looks like we got some type of sensor. We've got where the old motor connections will be plugged in. And this is where our outputs are for our PSC motor. We've got some troubleshooting steps right here. And then we've got some installation instructions, which is really nice. I like it when products have instructions. That way you don't make mistakes and you know what you're doing. Got my tool bag the motor that I'm gonna install, and then the product I'm using to install this motor. Here's the old motor. I need to take the screws out of the housing, pull the housing out, gotta take this capacitor out. I'm gonna take the old motor out and get ready to install the new one. Old motor out, and you can see these are where the two plugs were. One is for the speeds, and then one is for the power. So this right here is the speed. This is for the power, and I've got that one's for the speed and this one's for the power. So it's gonna fit right on there, that's nice. So let's take this motor off of the housing and then get our new motor ready. If you have the right tools, you can make this job really quick and really easy. Make sure that you have a nice socket that you can use. This is a 9 16th socket. See that right there, 9 16th. And this is gonna fit on here perfectly and I'll make this job a lot easier, right? Look at that. Look at that, that is beautiful. Make sure you get the right tools. Sand that shaft the best you can. Get some WD-40 and spray it with your hand. Come out of there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. Old motor has been removed. Had to use my bearing puller. Make sure you have a bearing puller. Also, make sure you have WD-40 and sandpaper. This is the old motor. I made sure that I checked the horsepower of the motor. It's half horsepower. I have a universal motor. Make sure that you know what capacitor you'll use. 10 microfarad. You wanna learn more about motors? I've got a video to learn all about motors. Check the video down in the link in the description. Now I'm gonna get the new motor in the housing. New PSC motor installed in the blower housing, yay. Let me get it in the unit and we're going to start mounting the board and wiring this up and I'm going to show you how I wire it. Super simple so far to install this. I'm actually pretty impressed how easy it is. I took the two plugs that went to the motor, the one for the speed and then the one for the power and then plugged them on the board. And then for the speed wires, you have low, medium, high and that comes from the PSC motor and then the common wire for that PSC motor. 
So all I have left is I ran the sensor wire that mounts to one of the inlets of the evaporator coil. I'm gonna mount that down here. And then I'm gonna mount this board. I'm trying to figure out, I've got side mount bracket and then I've got a flush mount. So I could do either one of those. I'll probably mount it right here. And then I've got my capacitor connected. And that is my PSC motor. I'm pretty excited to see how this works. There's one more wire and it says right here on the R, it says connect R and remove jumper for delay after break. So you could basically make it to where you, you have a delay through the board after the unit shuts off, the blower would stay running, which would just make it more efficient. So that's pretty awesome, exciting. Let's uh, go ahead and get this mounted and then turn it on so you can see it working. Just wanna show you right here after you mount the quick swap board, you attach the thermistor to the evaporator return bin near the coil inlet. See the picture right there. Please read the instructions. Board is mounted now. All I gotta do is mount my capacitor for the PSC fan. I've got the thermistor and the clamp installed on the U-bin and look at there. Just came on and it's working. That is awesome. Let's talk about the part price and I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can learn more about it and you can pick one up if you need to save money and also if you just want to buy one to keep in stock. Calling for the fan. There we go. It works. Let's go ahead and take the call away. That is awesome. Now I'll probably hook up the red wire so I can have that delay. Saved the customer quite a bit of money and was able to get their heating and cooling back up and running. You can check out the Quick Swap product in the link in the descriptions. Go check out their product on the website and you can pick up this product for around about $150, in between $150 $200. So that with a motor about $150 to $150, $300, $400 and then you have your labor. So we're at about five, maybe $600 for the install of this new motor compared to thousand dollar motor plus the labor. So we're saving a lot of money. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. Leave a comment if you got a question. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Tell me who you are. Tell me where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.